Hello, my name is Zoe Wilson and I'm a postdoctoral research associate in the group of Stephen Lay at the University of Cambridge. And today I'm going to talk to you about our recent work on flow-enabled peptide synthesis. So why are we interested in peptide synthesis? Well, in recent years, there's been increasing interest in the use of peptides as pharmaceuticals, which has really been encouraged by success stories such as that of Lupron, which had global sales in excess of 2.3 billion in 2011. Additionally, amide bond formation is one of the most executed transformations in organic chemistry, and amino acids themselves are challenging substrates. And fundamentally, the existing methods for peptide synthesis are reaching their inherent limits. Merrifield was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1984 for his excellent work on developing solid phase peptide synthesis, which is to, da to date the most widely used method for peptide synthesis, due largely to its ability to be automated and its accuracy. However, this accuracy comes at a cost, and that large excesses of both the coupling agents and the amino acids you're adding are required to be used, making this a very wasteful and expensive process. An example of just how wasteful it can be is fusion, a 36 amino acid inhibitor for HIV that requires 45,000 kilograms of raw materials to synthesize just 1,000 kilograms of the product. And this is not even including solvents. Flow chemistry offers many benefits over traditional batch chemistry. And we believe that the application of flow chemistry to peptide synthesis gives us the potential to develop a solution phase automatable and scalable peptide synthesis, which is significantly less wasteful than solid phase peptide synthesis. Recently, we have published work on the synthesis of cyclooligomeric depsy peptides using flow chemistry. These are challenging targets that have N methylated amide bonds and a macrocyclic ranging in ring size from 12 membered rings to 24 membered rings. What we found is that the very fine control offered by flow chemistry allows us to greatly improve the yield when flow chemistry is included into our route rather than the traditional batch routes. This gave us access to a family of natural and unnatural cyclooligomeric depsy peptides which are now being tested for bioactivity. Additionally, we've been developing peptide coupling using mixed and hydride mediated methods using isobutyl chloroformate. This is looking very promising with a range of amino acids being tolerated as well as a range of protecting groups. As proof of concept, we're now applying this to the synthesis of the bioactive cyclic peptide segitalin A, with the advantage of flow chemistry being that through running the reactions continuously, we're able to access our intermediates on gram scale. Finally, this just leaves me to thank Professor Stephen Lay, the Lay Group, and the EPSRC for funding, and thank you.